Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, got a quick video for you, and I've, and because it took me so long to get out this particular video, and this one's going to be a short one, uh, I got another one too. You can look forward to either, it uh, probably be this weekend, probably on a Sunday, so stay tuned for that as well. All right, guys, a lot of people hear about the opportunity, they hear about spirit rovers, they hear about uh, the curiosity, but not too many people hear about the Sojourner. Now, the Sojourner was launched... <clears throat> excuse me, on December 4th, 1996, and it landed on the surface of Mars on July 4th, 1997, okay? So I'm going to show you the, um, the, the pictures to this, and this would be, just to give you guys a size comparison, um, you've got the Sojourner right here, and then you've got the Spirit, but you also have the brother or the sister, depending on how you want to say it, uh, the Spirit and Opportunity Rovers, which this one here was solar powered, you can see right here, and so wasn't the spirit and opportunity. Now, of course, we currently have this one, uh, Curiosity, which was, uh, I mean, just to go backward, this one here was 1997. Uh, both the spirit and opportunity was put on uh, Mars, or landed on Mars, I should say, uh, in 2004. And, of course, Curiosity in uh, 2012. Now, we do have another one going, coming. Uh, it's actually identical to this, but only with different tools. It's going to be on the end 2020. So uh, a lot of stuff going on, a lot of people, a lot of countries wanting to send more and more things, right? So anyway, no doubt you guys have probably seen this photo here. I'll show it to you. And uh, again, you can see the uh, this one here was the uh, Mars Pathfinder. And uh, so the lander itself, you can see it took its own pictures. It didn't need any, you know, the rovers to do it uh, or rover. So you can see it right here, the, the Sojourner. And it was very small, so it really didn't pan out too well other than uh some experiments it did with the wheels now i'll explain that to you real quick in a moment um but what i get a kick out of is or just i i get puzzled by i see certain shapes um and again it's only speculation because we again i've always said we can't prove whether what these things are right because we can't handle them uh and find out what it is but this object here in the background this here does not look like anything like a simple rock now a lot of people will look at this field of rocks and go it's a rock Okay, well, if you and I, or anybody watching or whatever, and we were to bust up a cinder block, okay, maybe in four pieces, and just threw it out in this field of rocks, does it suddenly make it a simple rock? Or does it make it a intelligently made cinder block thrown upon rocks? And that's why I always get these people just going to simple rocks. Now, if that's what they believe, that's fine. But to me, I don't believe so. When I look at this, I see, I see something here that's shaped. Look at the way this thing's shaped and has these little uh, details on them, raised areas. It looks like this thing is actually to the actual left, like it's buried halfway in. You can see the way the shape is completely straight across, comes down, and then has this other angle. What do you think that is, guys? I mean, I couldn't tell you what it is only because it's the same color, and we all know how they do that, right? Well, let's have a look at it this way. Now, I took the color away as far as that rusty, pukey-looking color, and we can jump into this a little further now. And I'm seeing this, and I'm going to go ahead and enlarge it a little bit more, and... A little blur so when we zoom in it doesn't look too bad right um because when you really zoom in that's when it really starts to break apart but what do you think this this is guys let's do this let's go ahead and rotate a little bit now i'm looking at this and i'm saying wow what the hell could that possibly be because it has raised areas it almost looks like if you look at it from uh well we'll just use this simple um just use the pointer here um you can see it's straight across comes down goes like this but it has what looks like this almost Right here, it goes across, and it's almost like this oval area comes down, nice sharp, uh, well, it's an angle right there. You can see where it comes around nice and sharp right there, it comes down, and it looks like it's it's almost does the same thing, like it's uniformed on the other side, right? It has these features, doesn't look like a rock, at least to me it doesn't. Now, is it one? Again, pure speculation, couldn't tell you. Um, because this, you know, anybody who says, oh, I know exactly what it is, no, you don't, no, you don't. Uh, you, 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 just, you just don't. Um, we can, again, we can speculate as to what it could be, and that's the best that we can do. Um, but what do you think that is, guys? And ladies, of course. Uh, and then it's, we've got some curious looking, like, it looks like carvings into the stone here. And I'm going to back away a little, just a little bit. Anybody on the bigger screens can see this maybe a hair bit better. But, and here's another thing I want you guys to take note of as well. Look in the back here. You got what looks like this, like, kind of... Nice angle here. See that? Goes across. Now, I don't know what these are here. It looks like there's some kind of almost like a dark square. But because this is so zoomed in and pixelated, it's hard to tell. So we can't really go by that. How about this right here? The way this does this. What could that possibly be? 
Now, keep in mind, this was one of, uh, and I told you before, if you go back, there was another rover that had, it looked like a, a small box with basically skis that it would actually walk. Um, that was the very first uh, rover, if you will, um, that they ever put on, uh, and I think that was in 1961. So these guys have been doing experiments on Mars for quite some time. And uh, so, yeah, I mean, it's it's pretty bizarre that this, they're still doing the same uh, experiments, trying to figure out the soil. Um, and I'm going to, again, I'm going to show you that in a second. But just look at the back. It is this nice straight edges right here. And check this out. You can almost see like there's an edge right here of this mountain. See it? Very fine line. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit right here. Why would you see a fine line to a mountain? Clearly, it's going to come down to the base and it's going to actually be nice and smooth. You're going to have trees, growth, whatever, dirt. doesn't really matter what it is. You shouldn't see any defined lines, any definition of a, a mound or anything just sitting there. You shouldn't see that, but you can see just right here. And it kind of does this. I don't believe that's a mound. I don't think it's a mountain either. Well, I don't. let's, let's go back. So we can give you a reference. And, of course, you can see the, the solar panels to the uh, Mars Pathfinder. Um I don't think it's really super far away to begin with. Um, I really don't. There's no way to judge. They used to put scaling on this, guys. They don't do it anymore. But anyway, tell me what you think this, this is. To me, this looks like something. It's symmetrical. You can see where, again, you can see this right here goes around, comes around this way, goes down, well, right here, and then comes back down here. And I'm going to do that one more time for you guys just to show you. Check this out. Why does it look like it's symmetrical where it has, it comes around, it's round, stops right here, and comes down? It appears to do the same. It's 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 like that whole area right here is raised up, and it looks like it's intelligently made. What do you guys think? I'm just saying it looks like it's intelligently made. Uh, I love it how some people say, oh, he said this absolute. I never said anything absolute. Uh, I'd say it looks like, meaning could be, something uh, intelligently made. Now, to me, that stands out. And you guys, of course, you guys can tell me what you think. Now, again, this is the original photo. There it is, with all those pukey little co uh, colors that they have. Um, and right here, here's what I was talking about. Now, check this. This is the way they did this. This is cool. Uh, let me see if I can figure out where I said it to begin with. Um, okay, the wheel abrasion, abrasion uh, experiment, or the WAE, gathered soil abrasion information by observing a special rover wheel wear. The center section of one of the rover's six wheels was coated with thin layers of nickel, aluminum, or aluminum, and platinum. Um, changes in the metal's layers, reflectance due to wear, were detected by a photocell. Now, that's what's kind of bizarre. They were checking the soil even back then, and this, of course, was in 97, but they were checking the density of the soil and everything back in 1961. How many times do we need to check the soil? I mean, I'm just curious. I mean, they're still looking at rocks and soil now. Really? I don't believe that's the case. I believe that this, again, we know that uh, a lot of you guys know that Mars was met by some c catastrophic event. So it's no wonder things are strewn all over the place in, uh, in a field of rocks. Um, I don't believe a lot of these things that we're seeing, like rocks, these fields of rocks. And I'm not saying all of them are, because I believe that these are, uh, this particular picture, or not that one, but this one here. I believe a lot of these are rocks, but some of them, I don't think so, like that one right there. I don't believe that is at all. And I believe a lot of these are made to look like rocks, and they're not. But when you look at these, when you look at these things, you just go, "Wow, this is just crazy, man!" But they were doing experiments even back then. They're trying to see the, what it's going to do to it and stuff like that. Testing calculations confirmed that possibly that the rover would accumulate a large static charge during its surface uh, operations. Since actual Martian conditions are unknown, get that unknown. This is back in, and this is right here. You can see this write-up was in 2008. Okay. Um, and JPL followed Lewis recommendations and added discharge points to the rover's antenna as a precaution. If the rover accumulated electric charge, some of all of it, uh, or all of it, I'm sorry, uh, should have been removed to the atmosphere through the discharging points. So they had an electronic static charge, or it would literally just ground itself, basically, you know, so the dust wouldn't be attracted to the rover. And some of the rovers, and I believe it was the... Opportunity and Spirit, which actually had, they could literally send a uh, discharge along the body of it, and it would literally repel the dust. And, of course, they had storms that would blow it off and everything else, right? So, but anyway, guys, not going to make it too long. Like I said, here it is. This is the original, because a lot of people will say, well, you know, you, you doctored it up by using Photoshop, blah, blah, blah. Uh, no, we don't need to do that. The only reason why we're doing it is to get the more natural colors 
and then get the stuff to pop out more. We're not changing or adding anything to the photo, right? So here it is again. And you guys tell me what you think that is because the smaller screens that should look a little clearer. Just tilt your head to the left. You can see this thing has some symmetrical kind of features to it. I mean, you can see like raised points and a straight edge right going across. What well, looks like almost like a straight angle, but I can't be sure that it's blurred right there. But regardless, I mean, you guys tell me what you think it is. Anyway, guys, got another cool one coming up, and it's going to be a lot sooner. I know you guys waited to see this video or a video, so I'm going to make this a lot sooner for you guys. Um, seeing you guys did have to wait, and I do appreciate you guys doing that. Anyway, with that, I'm going to let you guys go. You have yourself a good weekend, and we'll see you in the next one.